What's up guys, Frosty here. So season 19 is finally upon us and today's video is going to be a complete guide about Season of the Seraph. So upon logging in you'll be shown a new cutscene and tossed into a new intro mission which is relatively easy to complete. After you do said intro mission basically Clovis Bray is going to get transferred over to the helm in the form of the Exo frame and he is the new seasonal vendor. This is where you'll be able to pick up the Seraph Cypher which is the new seasonal artifact. Also make sure you go ahead and have this in your inventory before you go ahead and cash in all those bounties you prepped from last season. He'll also give you the new seasonal quest called More Than a Weapon. This quest has 54 steps and we're allowed to do up to step 9 this week. Obviously I'm not going to spoil the story for you guys but I am going to talk about some of the other things it asks you to do. And he also gives you a new consumable called the Resonance Amp but we'll talk about this later. Eventually the quest is going to ask you to go do something called a Heist Battleground which is essentially the new seasonal arena. This is a pretty simple and straightforward activity. Basically all you're doing is killing waves of enemies and dodging these Seraph Towers. Make sure that you're not detected by one of these Seraph Towers for too long because they will instantly kill you. All you have to do to avoid dying to them basically is just break line of sight and you'll be all set. In order to launch this activity you want to head over to the Moon UI directory and it will be just to the right of the Duality Dungeon. This is the same basic system we got with PsyOps Battleground several seasons ago. It's a three man match made activity with daily rotating modifiers. Moving on you'll eventually get to the boss room after you crack the seals on the door and break into the bunker and you'll be fighting this Scorn boss this week. Basically how this fight works is you're allowed to do damage to him down to half health and then after that he'll get a protective shield that only the Seraph Tower behind him can actually zap off of him. In order to progress this fight you need to kill majors that spawn on the edges of the room that drop a special orb that need to be dunked in the center console. You need five of these total. Now I can't remember all the loot I've gotten from this activity as I've run it quite a bit but I do remember getting some of the new seasonal deep sight weapons from it. As you can imagine I'm pretty sure there are pretty low drop chance and as you can see here from this final chest I get some Something called Seraph Key Codes and Resonant Stems. So let's go ahead and talk about some of these seasonal currencies next. First up we have Seraph Key Codes and it says use 500 to open the locked Seraph chest at the end of the Heist Battleground playlist activities. You can find that playlist on the right hand side of the Helm directory. It also says earn by completing activities throughout the system. Ritual playlist activities provide the most efficient source and your maximum quantity is 2000. For me personally I was getting about 300 for just doing a strike as well as 2-3 to three Resonant Stems. Anyways I'm pretty sure the investigation which Queen mission is still the fastest method in the game. I've heard that people are getting over 600 per completion of that activity. So go get a buddy and farm out those checkpoints and you should be able to cap out your key codes in about 15 to 20 minutes. Just be aware the Heist Battlegrounds playlist activity from the helm does have champions in it so make sure to go ahead and unlock some of those mods from your seasonal artifact. And make sure you have enough Seraph key codes on you before you jump into this activity so that way you can actually open up that chest at the end. Next up let's talk about those resonant stems you're getting from completing activities. The thing with resonant stems is that they don't go to your consumables tab like a traditional currency item. The only way to see how many resonance stems you actually have is if you hover over your resonance amp in your consumables tab. So if you guys were around back in the day you would remember that we actually used to make little key cards that had riddles on them and we used to have to go find sleeper nodes scattered throughout Mars. We're basically doing the same exact thing right now with your resonance amp. Just go ahead and interact with it when you have four resonance stems and you'll create something called an override frequency. Then a riddle will pop up on your resonance amp. Just figure this riddle out and it will lead you to the hidden nodes somewhere in the solar system. As far as the community is aware there's 12 of these nodes total and there's 6 found on the moon and 6 found on Europa. And supposedly you can only search for 12 of these hidden nodes as that's basically the limit and once you've found all 12 your resonance amp is basically useless as of right now. So I've opened 3 of these nodes and I haven't gotten any deep sight weapons but supposedly other people have so I guess it's just a toss of a coin on whether or not you'll get one. I'll be releasing a video about where all 12 hidden nodes are so stay tuned for that. And the last currency we have here is the Serific Umbra energy and you guys already know the deal with this stuff. You spend it at the Exoframe vendor in the helm to focus new weapons and armor which you always do. And the only way you can earn this stuff right now is by opening it from the Seraph chest at the end of the Heist Battlegrounds playlist activities. Next up let's cover the Exoframe which can be found on the right hand side of the helm. So like I said earlier this is the new seasonal vendor and we have the whole shebang with him. We have a reputation system that we can rank up. Every time we rank up we get new engrams. We have an entire new upgrade chart to go ahead and fill out. We have rank rewards we can claim as we level him up as well as we can reset him and it keeps track of our prestiges. We have a whole new set of bounties and the daily bounties also give additional rep as a reward. Also we'll be able to focus the new seasonal weapons and armor on the second page and you'll also be able to focus the new Ikelos version 3 weapons which are also craftable as well. I don't really think I need to cover the upgrade tree as it basically time gates you and makes you follow a pretty linear path. Just make sure you're doing your seasonal challenges so that way you can get the currency in order to purchase those upgrades. This season Bungie's calling it the 
exo frame modules. Next up, let's go ahead and cover the seasonal weapons. We got six new ones. First up, we have the fire and forget linear fusion rifle. Next, we got the tripwire cannery lightweight frame combat bow. Then we have the disparity aggressive burst pulse rifle. Moving on, we have the path of least resistance adaptive frame trace rifle, which I think looks super sexy. We got ourselves another aggressive glaive called the judgment of Kelgaroth and a brand new rapid fire machine gun called the retrofit escapade. So obviously it's pretty early on in the season and it's going to be kind of hard to figure out how much of a grind it's going to be in order to get these red border weapons. And the only reason I say that is because I swear to god last season Bungie heavily nerfed the drop rates of deep sight weapons. However this season does seem to be a little bit more generous to me as I've already found about 7 or 8 versions of deep sight craftable weapons so far so not too bad. Also as most of you already probably know we are getting a new dungeon this season and with this pop-up screen that was actually given to me when I went to orbit we can actually confirm that the new dungeon is going to be vex themed. They say we're going to be entering the spire of the watcher to stop the vex from locking down Rasputin. So overall it's good to see that Bungie actually listened to the community as a lot of people were asking for a vex themed dungeon and now we're finally getting one. And I can't wait for that dungeon to go live so we can get in there and start farming the new armor sets and weapons. Anyways that's going to do it for me today guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you found it informative or helpful don't be afraid to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this in the future. I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Until then, stay frosty.